no such thing as a as a lump sum of labor. Labor is infinite. Like there is infinite demand for labor. Here is the 19th century. Sorry. Here is the perfect example of this. If more people come into the country, that means you need to build more homes for them. You need to build more infrastructure for them. And that means you need more jobs for those people. Um, that means more jobs, more buildings, more homes, more jobs, more energy, more jobs, more cars, more jobs. Why would you not deport people who enter your borders illegally? Because I think it's inhumane. I think it's cruel. It's unusual. I think it's inhumane. And a big reason why we do this is because a big reason why we have so many people come in here is because we, we allow them to, we rely on them. That's a, that's a huge part of our, our agricultural production. As a matter of fact, it's literally built in. It's built into our, to our economy. It's, it's pretty disgusting that we, we just deport these people after uh, relying on them for our agricultural production for so long. Anyway, I, we're, we're supposed to be doing fun day, but there's a lot, there's a lot here. I don't know. I want to, I want to move away from sleeper shit. A lot of this is kind of sleeper. Fun day, stun day, stun day, stun day. Should every country allow illegal immigrants in through their borders? I think there should be no such thing as an illegal immigrant. I think that um, go back to your country from 20 candy to 50 candy, GG. Okay, well, I'm sorry that you celebrated me and one uh, celebrated my growth, but uh, I'm going to going to ban you for that. Do you support completely open borders? I think completely open borders is a nonsensical position. I think that what we should do is treat every single person that wants to come in here uh, with respect and document them and allow them to come here. Of course, there are uh, exceptions to this. If you're like a fucking serial killer or some shit and you're trying to come in to the country, well then, yeah. Unless you've served your time and you're fully rehabilitated and reformed. Yeah, I, I think that that's, that's an understandable person not to allow into the borders. As a matter of fact, you should probably catch that person when they tried to come in and uh, collaborate with the host nation, the respective uh, nation that that person is from to ensure that justice is served. How would you deal with limited resources in country like jobs? Well, that's, that's not a real thing. There is no limited labor pool. It's a totally made up concept. I think it was debunked in like 1817 or something like it's it's a it's one of the oldest uh it's one of the oldest yeah the lump sum of labor fallacy it's like it's literally a fallacy from like the 18th century there is no such thing as a as a lump sum of labor labor is infinite like there is infinite demand for labor here is the 19th century sorry here is the perfect example of this. If more people come into the country, that means you need to build more homes for them. You need to build more infrastructure for them. And that means you need more jobs for those people. Um, that means more jobs, more buildings, more homes, more jobs, more energy, more jobs, more cars, more jobs. There's no such thing. Like re Republicans make it, Republicans make it up. They, they just lie about it. Now, they change the goalpost and they'll say, well, what about low skilled labor? It was debunked in 1891. Yes. <laughs> Republicans are still running on a Republicans are still running on and relying on an outdated understanding of, uh, of, of macroeconomics that was debunked in 19 in 1891.
more jobs less pay your takes are fucking stupid when you don't play games more jobs less pay what why would that you don't even fucking Obama's Secure Communities Act enabled local PDs to collab with ICE and drastically increase deportation numbers. He repealed it in 2011 after being pressured by activists. So Obama constantly did the give and take, which is what I'm frustrated by. I see what you're talking about. Isn't there such a thing as unsustainable growth or exhaustion of resources in space? The entire population of the country currently could be fucking fit inside of the state of Texas if the same population density of New York City existed in the state of Texas. So, no, I don't think we're going to be running out of fucking space anytime soon. Have you been to Oklahoma? People that say this shit to me, I, I, I'm, I'm always reminded that, like, so many people have just never been to, like, the heartland or have never been to, like, Oklahoma or, or Kansas or, or so many parts of this country. Guys... Oklahoma is a great example of this because it's so fucking resource rich and so wealthy as a consequence of that with, with, with an incredible amount of income inequality. So in an effort to, in an effort to drive up the sex appeal of Oklahoma, that these oil barons, uh, they've tried to make Oklahoma city into this like beautiful downtown area that, uh, you would see anywhere around the country in a, in a metropolitan, uh, area. If you've ever been to Oklahoma City, you know that that's what it looks like. It literally, there's like whiskey bars. There's like these cool fucking European style shipping containers that you can like eat inside of and shit. Except it also looks like a fucking zombie apocalypse because no one, and I mean, no one wants to live in fucking Oklahoma. Even people from Oklahoma don't want to live there. Why is there so much insane real estate out there? And it's just basically fucking empty. And people are saying brick down. Yes, that's exactly what I'm talking about. There's whiskey bars. There's cool ass fucking like vegan southern barbecue places and shit. They have it all. But no one wants to live there. They even have like they even have created tax havens basically for these large corporations so they can open up uh, uh, open up other low cost sites for p places like Boeing which my brother worked at. The reason why no one wants to work there is because fucking Oklahoma still. The quality of life is very low in, com in comparison to somewhere else. Like, it's just not, it's just not great living there. But don't tell me, don't tell me this motherfucking country doesn't have space. As a native, that's disrespect. Okay, listen, first of all, at least Oklahoma is now finally native owned again. All right. Isn't that the case? I've actually never been to the native parts of Oklahoma. I'm not going to lie. I'm sorry. You just lost the radical Oklahoma. Yeah. Half of Oklahoma is finally native owned again. So. 63% of Americans live on just 3.5% of our land area. We're a huge ass country. Yeah. I just, whenever people say like, we don't have enough space, it's, it's just completely false. USA split into sections that are the same population as California. Jesus Christ. One state. All of these states have the same population as California. That's awesome, dude. All of these states have the same population as California. All of these states have the same population as California. All these, all these, all these, all these. Look at that. And now count the senators. Yeah, and California's a shithole. Yeah, dude. That's why it's the most populated state in the fucking country. Because it's such a shithole. People are like, we want to live here.
New York actually might be more condensed. Yes. Got a kernel of truth, like some land is legit unusable. Some needs to be farmed so the cities can function, but running out ain't happening anytime soon. Yeah. Some labor markets don't scale with population. For example, software engineers. WhatsApp had 50 employees but served 1 billion people. Okay. I didn't realize that uh, we had a significant problem with software engineers coming into the country and not being able to find jobs. Like, is that what I said? You can get a, oh shit, I missed it. You, you have the lamb, but do you have the infrastructure? No, we do have the infrastructure, but it's crumbling. As a matter of fact, that's a fucking really awesome question. That would create a fuckload of job opportunities, as a matter of fact, for people to work in construction. There are so many uh, well-paid positions that we could create to literally build the infrastructure, which is, by the way, my point. That's why you can't say there is a finite amount of jobs in this country. Because when there's more people, that means there's more room for jobs because there's more need for growth. That's how this works. And if there's no jobs, if there's literally nothing, you can make jobs, okay? Do you know how many jobs are just bullshit jobs that need not exist, that could be easily automated away, but it still exists because I guess for the time being, it's just cheaper. Have you ever been to an office? Like 50% of your coworkers, if you work in an office, are just, just there, just literally just sitting there in front of a computer doing nothing, okay? All of this shit is completely outdated. Half the stuff that we do could be more efficient. So just make more jobs. Like you, I, I'm, unfortunately... There is a, a, my labor in this circumstance very clearly has a market for it. More so than like an average numbers cruncher. The entire medical insurance industry sector is unnecessary. How do you feel about how unions are viewed as evil in America? When I was younger, my Little Caesars training video had a 20 minute section. Discussing how unions were the ultimate downfall of the USSR. Uh -huh. Half of you dudes literally are sitting at your job watching me. Maybe not right now. But half of you are literally... Your work is so... Your work is so easy to do that like you're literally watching me instead. Or on Reddit. Which, by the way, there's nothing wrong with that. Listen to me. There's nothing wrong with that. Boss makes a dollar, you make a dime. That's why you watch Hasanabi's broadcast on the company's time. You understand me? There is nothing wrong with that shit, dude. Absolutely nothing, motherfucker. Legit shredding paper right now. <laughs> exactly. Literally Sunday. How is that possible? Still on chicken time, huh? Bro, we are Americans, brother. You understand? You know how many motherfuckers work on Sundays, dude? What the fuck? There is no, like, <laughs> we have the worst, like, we have the worst labor protections on the planet, dude. We got nothing. I work at Target and listen to your stream all day, LMAO. Yeah. Have you ever looked into David Graeber's bullshit jobs? I'm familiar with it. I've never read it. Trump's court case on the record on the election so far is 0 out of 10. But who's counting, dude? Hey, that shouldn't stop him. Listen, that should not stop him from trying. You know what I mean? The 
fight against voter suppression continues in Georgia. So Wait, this, this is, is the March 19th, 1965 Life magazine of the picture of Congress. Oh, this is an old video, dude. It's not new. I watch you while putting clothes in the retail stock room. <laughs> work overnight. So I'm about to go into work, Sag. Legit, my job became obsolete since COVID. Company just hasn't figured it out yet, so I won't tell them. Don't tell them. Look, as long as you're not working for yourself, if you're not working for yourself, like, they're paying you to do this shit. Like, what? If you can get away with it, you fuck yeah, dude. What are you crazy? They already extract your your surplus value no matter what. It's called profit, and it's totally legal. They're already they are literally already stealing wages from you in the form of profit. It's already built in. They're underpaying you regardless. The moment you sign a contract, the moment you sign a contract at work. They have already undervalued you, okay? Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to make profit. You always, always put more into your work than you get back. It's built into it. It's built into the system. So anywhere you can, anywhere you can get it back. Dude, I literally hide at work to watch your stream. <laughs> exactly, dude. 